If you're new here, I'm Lisa, I create content. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. And yeah, subscribe to the vibes because it stays lit on this channel. Today, today we don't have a vlog, we actually have a hair video. And this is like my favorite kind of install to do. Apart from like a classic closure, I absolutely love 13 by six, 20 inch black bust down wigs. Like I feel like they give, if you just want to do a little something extra for yourself do this i feel like this hairstyle it makes me look so put together body wave like when there's like big curls big waves and yeah um with that being said this wig is from ali pearl hair thank you so much for sending me this wig and yeah we're gonna get right on it into the install i don't really want to talk too long talk too much you know i'm gonna get right on into it but yeah i'm gonna let you guys know all the details all of the information on the hair it came pre-bleached pre-plucked and i barely had to do anything you're gonna see yourselves like in this install i i didn't have to do much at all so this wig is definitely yeah for me um but yeah let's get right on into the install right guys so let's get into this install the hair is from ali pearl it's hd lace 20 inch and the cap size is a small i have got a smaller head so like i need the smaller wig cap but they have different sizes available and as you guys can see here it came with the band inside and it's adjustable the lace is amazing and look how well plucked this wig is i was shocked i was like no way it comes bleached and plucked but that just made my life 10 times easier and it came pre-curled as well so i didn't even have to recurl it all i did was just recurl the front bits you guys will see but it came with the usual the bag the brush the wig band and also like um a satin wig band as well because i love satin wig bands and a hd wig cap if you do want to do the bald cap method but i don't do that and this is what the wig looks like on like straight out of the box and to be honest i didn't really have to do anything like if i was doing like the no baby hair look i would have just left it like this but here i was just seeing how it fits on my head where the ears tabs are gonna sit and if the wig was like tight enough and this front bit here i always um take out this hair here well i've started doing it recently i just feel like it matches my hairline a lot more i've got a low hairline so i don't really want the wig to sit like too too far down on my forehead because it can look like that if you've got a low hairline because most wigs they have that like classic hairline so i just sectioned off this bit as you guys can see and i just went in and i just like pulled um the hair out you guys are gonna see now anyways i just went in little sections and just tugged it off like that it was so easy to do and once that was done i could see that okay it's giving a little bit more now like it's giving more it was already giving but like it's giving a bit more so this is a good tip if you find that um if you find that you've got a low hairline and you don't want the wig to sit too forward um this just helps to push it back um a little bit more and yeah that is how it looked and i just went ahead clipped away my hair and started to map out where the ear tabs were going to be so um with this right you want to make sure that your ear tabs are they sit like right over your ear you guys are gonna see i'm sectioning it right here and then you're gonna see when i pull the hair up you can see where it sits so you can see if you need to pull it up a little bit or down a little bit um like this <laughs> yeah like that so you guys can see okay it's right above my ear it's perfect and then you're just gonna go in and cut you want to do little sections at a time you don't just want to go in straight and like cut that whole thing off um you just want to cut it and then lift it up once you've got to like the middle of the ear just because the back bit you don't really need to map that out you just cut it as the lace goes if that makes sense well you guys can see here it's pretty self-explanatory so i did that on both sides so as you can see once this side was done um it just fit over my ear like a lot better like you don't want it to you don't want the ear tabs to be like too long because 
it can like irritate your ear you want your wig to fit nice and snug but not too you don't want it to feel like you've got a wig on all the time i know that sounds crazy but like the more you customize it to your head shape the better it sits and it feels a lot nicer on and this side i just did the same thing and then i just sectioned off where the um the baby hair was gonna be because i like the little like the little sideburn baby hair that's my vibe well if i'm doing a frontal wig obviously um and yeah i just went in little sections again snip 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 and then when i was getting to like the middle of the ear i just lifted up that part of the lace and then i cut right down and yeah that was the ear tabs cut off amazing lovely stuff i did find that this side came down a little bit more on me um i mean i don't have like a perfect hairline like it's super symmetrical and everything but yeah sometimes like one side of the wig might come down sometimes it might be a bit forward a bit back but yeah you can just move it around and just cut as you need it's better off um you're better off cutting off in like small sections as you saw me doing because you don't want to cut off too much or make drastic changes to, like the wig or the lace or anything like that so gluing down the wig i'm using the hair by shopee um lace adhesive i love this i only use one layer and yeah so here i'm just wiping my head with or well, my forehead with micellar water and i'm just going in with one layer so i put on glue and then i really spread that out like as you guys can see i'm really going in with the spreading out motion because you want your wig to be i don't know you don't want the glue to be like chunky or like whatever because it takes ages to dry um but this wig glue actually doesn't take that long to dry as you guys can see i'm moving on to the other sections and like the other part of the glue is clear and i like to stick down my wig when it's all clear basically or most of it is clear and then yeah you just position it don't press it down too much because yeah you kind of just want to once you found like okay this part of the lace is sitting okay then you want to kind of press it down and use a little bit of pressure don't do too much on this bit because sometimes you might need to adjust it and you don't want to have like proper pressed it in and now you're trying to lift it up from glue that's tacky and you might need to put more glue on it will just be a mess okay that's not what you want so once i did that i just like tapped it down with my fingers a little bit and then i tied the wig band around it and just left that to sit for um not too long i won't even say too long because i only did one layer of glue so i didn't need that much like it didn't need that much time to like lay down but yeah whilst that was laying i just put a bit of concealer down the middle of my part because this lace is super thin it is hd lace you could see my um wig cap underneath that's how i know it's good lace like when you can proper see the wig cap underneath yeah it's gonna be a good wig day okay but yeah i just put that band on right back over the hair like that and I left it for not too long. I just hot combed my hair. I put a bit of wax on before. This wig was already, I basically, I didn't really have to do anything to it. I just like doing extra stuff to my wig to make it look extra nice and you know how I like it. But if you're someone who is not that great with wigs and stuff, honestly, you probably don't even need to do hardly anything to this wig. Just like hot comb the part in once it's on and once you've laid it down so yeah as you guys can see i'm just splitting like the side of my hair into two sections and then using a wax stick usually i would do like a lot more sections and like take my time with this but this wig was practically done when i got it <laughs> so um yeah i just did the top just to make sure it had that sleek finish and you only want to apply this wax stick to like the roots like just that bit because once you start like applying it to the whole top of your head you don't want it to look greasy and you don't want your hair to be like stiff i like my hair pretty flowy and stuff so i try to avoid using too much wax and gel and stuff on my hair because i just i just don't like a lot of product in my hair i know other people are different other people want that like stuck down look but that's not my vibe and for the two front parts i just tried to layer it hairstylist please don't come for me because i'm trying again but i just decided to cut these two bits a little bit shorter just so that they would frame my face a little bit more once like i'd brushed it out and everything and yeah i just brushed that out using my tangle teaser brush guys i love that brush 
um and yeah this was me back ready to take off the band so i took off the band and look she's looking cute like look how well it's plucked like are you kidding me yeah and now i just went in with an eyebrow razor and i just cut off the excess lace you want to do this in like not a straight 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 line and eyebrow razors work better because they don't give that like that straight look that scissors gives like i mean you can cut you can cut off the lace with scissors but you'd have to like do like jagged movements like zigzag movements and sometimes that can just be a lot or it can just take a lot longer so as you guys can see that was all off and i just plucked any like little excess hairs that i didn't get to pull out when i was like doing the first part where i was like you know taking out a bit of hair there so my forehead wouldn't look too tiny and yeah and then i went in with the scissors this is what i meant by like the jagged edge um technique when cutting off the lace there was a little bit of excess lace because yeah usually there is like i'm not gonna lie sometimes i map out where i'm gonna put the glue but um a lot of the times i just do this technique i just go with a little bit of extra glue on the lace that's not stuck down and then i press it down with the end of my comb and look at that amazing i love that for me and yeah i just repeated this process um on this side of my head as you guys can see i'm just putting a little bit and i'm using the end of my comb to like blend it out i didn't let the glue fully dry there you can see it's a tiny bit white but it does dry anyways it just takes a little bit longer than the other glue that had already gone clear and yeah once this was done and like everything was pressed in i just put the band right back on and i moved on to styling with styling i didn't really do much if i'm being honest i just curled these two front bits back i put the um the straightener i'm well i'm curling my hair with a straightener i love doing it i don't really use curlers that much but i put it on low heat just because i wanted the hair to have a wave that framed my face i didn't want it to be like a full-on curl and this hair once i'd brushed out the curls the hair was just giving like it was just giving guys like it was really giving so yeah i clipped those bits up took off the band and i prepared to do my baby hairs okay so now with baby hairs i'm not an expert at this and it's really trial and error just to see what works on your head what kind of baby hairs you like and yeah so as you guys can see like i'm just trying to see if i've got enough hair or both sides matching and on this side the side burn was a little too thick and i did go in and like make it a bit thinner so you will see that but yeah tucked my hair away and I actually curled the baby hairs before I'd cut them. I tried this out and I think I really like this technique. I don't know why, but sometimes when the hair is short and like I curl it with the mini straightener, I get scared that I'm gonna burn myself because I don't really have much hair to like hold onto outside of the straightener, if that makes sense. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just using that same razor to just cut off um, the length that I don't really want. And to do my baby hairs, I use Eco Styler, but I only use Eco Styler on the roots. As you guys can see here, I'm not like putting on the full um, amount of hair, but yeah. And this is in real time. This bit I didn't edit down just to show you guys how many times you have to go over like one baby hair just to kind of find the style that you want. I could have left it like this, but I wanted it to look a lot more, I don't know, like curly, if that makes sense. Like I wanted it to go round a little bit. You know, there's so many styles of baby hairs, but this is like mine. And I like the fluffy baby hair look. That is my bag right there, okay? And I like I like Eco Styler because once you've put on the um the band, like up to set the baby hairs, you can sort of like brush it out a little bit and after a, a little bit it looks um what's the word? Yeah, it looks fluffy, like it doesn't look too stuck down to my head. I didn't want the baby hairs to look like I went in with like edge control or hair gel and like they were like stuck on my face i just kind of want them to sit there so yeah i even went back in and like did that one again but um here i was just seeing that there's a bit too much hair so um i did try laying it down and it didn't look bad but obviously it did look a lot thicker if i wanted that super exaggerated look then i could have left it like that but once i'd done this side i realized okay let me take a bit of hair off and like make it a little bit thinner still dramatic but um yeah a little bit thinner and i was out of breath because like that was a workout <laughs> 
and I just went in with the satin wrap on top and I like to lay my baby hairs edges with the satin wrap because they don't take too much moisture out of the hair if that makes sense not moisture out of the hair but like they just keep the hairline hydrated like even when I'm going to sleep and stuff I prefer satin wig bands I do wear the normal one as well um but I like to switch because sometimes the normal one can dry out my scalp a little bit and I feel like sometimes that's what um that's what also plays a part in getting like you know like burns like from your hair glue and stuff but yeah anyways it was time to take off the satin wrap I started going off on a little tangent there but as you guys can see, look how cute it looks. Ah. I could have brushed out the baby hairs here, but I didn't. I was like, they look nice. Like They look like they're just sitting there. They don't look too stuck down. And yeah, I literally went in, brushed out the hair, and that was the final look, guys. I didn't do anything else to this wig. Um, and yeah, that brings us to the end of the install. Prepare to just watch me looking cute and like, you know, just feeling myself a little bit um with the new hairstyle and yeah i will see you guys at the end of the video <laughs> that brings us to the end of the install i hope you really enjoyed this video as you guys can see it was super quick like and it was just really easy to do like i love wigs that take out most of the work for me because i was thinking oh my gosh i'm gonna have to like proper bleach and like pluck and like customize and put a band in the wig and all this stuff but this wig came with everything so thank you again to ali pearl for sending me this wig i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was informative and all of the information about the wig is going to be in my description box um and yeah make sure you check out my other videos i do vlogs and stuff and i've got like a new style of vlog out right now and i think that's going to be like my new editing style i think i found my little thing so yeah i'd really appreciate it if you guys go and check out some of my vlogs and leave a comment let me know what you think and yeah do not forget to like comment and subscribe um and i will see you guys in my very next video bye